Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Tuesday, October 23rd, 2012. Well, a very large black body candle today, today and uh, it denotes the sellers making a very substantial amount of net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close. Previous days trading, there was a chance of a bounce in this market. We had a white body candle with the buyers closing with control for that day's trading. But today we've seen the sellers uh, move back into this market and continue the trend to the downside. The size of the black body is uh, in line with the black body from two trading periods ago, so the sellers are maintaining that downside momentum that they had. They lost that momentum for yesterday's trading, but they found it once again. Now, significantly for the previous three trading days now, we've been trading within this large zone of previous uh, support and resistance, and the market has uh, seen, we've seen some uh, upside price rejection in a minor way and then in a significant way for yesterday's trading. Today, we've seen rejection uh, down from the lows here, and the market is still trading within that highlighted area. So there is a possibility that we could see buyers come back in, in, into this market. The market is now trading within the cloud too, so... Uh, uh, we should see some very strong support around here and we are trading towards the round number uh, support at 1700 and that does also suggest that there is a strong potential for support around these levels. With this market uh, closing down towards the low, the sellers uh, have once again taken control of this market and they have shown very strong commitment to taking this market lower as they did two trading periods ago. So uh, once again, the uh, downside momentum in bigger picture terms has been maintained. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension and we're examining the relationship of the current first time frame downturn to the previous time the market's trending down and here we see the market has closed at exactly the 100% level and that does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend back to the upside uh, coinciding with the, the bottom of the highlighted yellow area and uh, with the market now probing into the cloud uh, we, uh, there is a very strong possibility of seeing some very strong support around this level. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, uh, we're in an expansive mode of that. Uh, we did see the market today trade in a very bearish manner down through the 161.8% level, so that hasn't really given us any guide. Uh, we do have a target down at the 261.8% level around 16.88. That's uh, quite a way down below where the market's trading at at the moment and uh, anywhere down within this cloud uh, should hold a support. This actually dissects the uh, width of the cloud and uh, will uh, strengthen uh, support around that area if the market does continue trending down. In terms of uh, trend lines and trend channels here we've been able to draw a trend line down through these uh, major peaks and troughs here and we're seeing some acceleration down through uh, the uh, um, trend channel. Uh, the three probes down below there. We do have a target now at the stack trend channel and this is a, a technique that a colleague uses where you actually get to stack these uh, the trend channel, the width of the trend channel projected down and it actually gives us a target down at the 1699 level which coincides with the 261.8% level on the uh, Fibonacci uh, um, expansion of the, re of the Fibonacci retracement. Now in terms of Ichimoku, uh, obviously now that the market has closed within the cloud, we have a neutral market in big picture terms. We're only just below there, so uh, not significant, but we're certainly not trading above the cloud. So technically this market is no longer bullish in big picture terms, and that uh, could be significant because we haven't seen the market trading within the cloud for quite some time. If we look here for a long period of time, the market has been uh, bullish in big picture terms so there is a possibility of uh, of lower levels but certainly a neutral market in the long term time frame but the market is uh, uh, quite bearish in the uh, medium and fast term time frames by trading below the Kijun Sen, the pink line and the Tenkan Sen here and uh, if we look here it was a significant uh, bearish close down below the Kijun Sen about a week and a half ago the market rallied towards the Kijun Sen and found resistance in that area and then sold off again so that certainly was a, a, a decisive break to the downside a bearish signal uh, only a weak signal but it has been a good signal for this market uh, anyone that may have taken that trade or a trade based on a retracement back towards there and the weakness in the market coming back in uh, 
may perhaps look to be taking profits because we do have uh, the market trading within this neutral zone now and we should be looking at uh, some very solid support uh, if here at the top of the cloud and certainly because of the influence of the round number 1700